हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई एग्जाम बी इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ डिस्कसिंग लास्ट ईयर बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस फॉर डीईपीआर फेज वन इन दिस वीडियो इन पार्ट थ्री वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग अवर डिस्कशन ऑन सम मोर क्वेश्चंस ऑन इकोनोमेट्रिक्स एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स आई होप यू आर फाइंडिंग दिस क्वेश्चन यूजफुल फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन लेट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट इफ द टू रिग्रेशन लाइन आर पेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर वट इज अ वैल्यू फॉर आर सो वट इज आर R is correlation coefficient. It shows the relationship between the two regression line. The value of R ranges from minus one to plus one. If R is minus one, then it indicates perfectly negative relationship, and if it is plus one, that it it indicates positive relationship. right and if the value for r is 0 that it indicates that there is no relationship between these two regression lines if the line coincides with each other when the coefficient can be minus 1 or plus 1 because in that scenario we cannot say it is negative or positive but the lines will definitely coincide with each other if the value for correlation coefficient is 0 then the lines will be perpendicular to each other right so answer for this question is c 0 because the lines are perpendicular here so the value for correlation coefficient is 0 question number 2 here what is given there are two regression lines this one and this one now we have to find which of these line is a line of regression for x on y and y on x so here we need to find whether this line is x on y or y on x or which one is this one so what steps should we follow for these types of question this type of question is important for two marks first of all what we have to do we have to make an assumption assumption about what we have to assume one of these line one of these line to be x on y and other one should be y on x for example if you assume first one as y on x you should assume second one as x on y now second step is to rearrange we have to rearrange equations to find the value for regression coefficient for both third is a step is to find the value for r fourth step is to make conclusion or see whether our answer was correct to check the answer how to check if the value for r lies within the range that is minus 1 to plus 1 then our assumption was assumption was correct if r is not within the range then we have to make new assumption like in the first one we have assumed first line as y on x and second one as x on y now in the second or new assumption we have to assume first one as x on y and second one as y on x i am not going to answer this question right now but i am going to tell you only the procedure for it and i want you to type the right answer for this question in the comment let me just show you to find the value for one of these coefficient from one equation if you are assuming 4 mi 4x minus 5y plus 30 is equals to 0 for y on x how to find the value for regression coefficient you have to rearrange the value for y so the value will be so this will become the value for regression coefficient so this is 0.8
so here b by x is equals to 0 0.8 now you have to do for the second line and check whether our assumption was correct or not write your answer in the comment section question number third the power of the test is denoted by so what is power of a test power of a test is probability of accepting a true null hypothesis a true null hypo hypothesis so if you are accepting a true null hypothesis it is known as power of test and how we denote it first of all you have to see what is the probability of rejecting or failed to reject a false null hypothesis that is actually type 2 error and type 2 error is denoted by beta so how we denote the power of a test that is accepting a true null hypothesis it will be 1 minus beta here other questions you should know that what is type 1 error what is type 2 error and how you denote, denote it so these are the other things and type 1 and type 2 errors are most frequently asked question for one marks so you should prepare for this question number four find the correlation coefficient if regression coefficients are 0 0.5 and 4.5 so we have already solved this type of question while we were finding out which regression line was on x on y or y on x so here we have the value for, for bxy let's say it is bxy and let's say the, this is byx so what is the value for correlation coefficient that is denoted by i it is under root of bxy into byx so it will be 0 0.5 into 4.5 that is equals to here the value will be 1.5 so right answer for this question is 1.5 5 that is a let's see the last question for this part for a set of 10 pairs of values of x and y the regression line is given to you and mean and standard deviation of y is given to you later it was found out that the pair it means the value x and y were interchanged while recording so now we have to find the correct regression line this question is important for four marks before moving forward how we write the equation for this types of line for here the equation should be x minus x bar as it is a regression line for x on y so we should have a coefficient for x on y and then we should have a value of y and y bar now we know the pair was changed have first of all we have to find the correct pair so we have to find the value for corrected x x bar we have to find the value for corrected y bar we have to find for the value of corrected coefficient regression coefficient okay so once we know all these three value we can easily rewrite the equation first of all we note down what information is available with us so we have the value for n that is 10 we have the value for mean of y that is 8 now we have the value for standard deviation of y that is 2 we have a regression line for x on y that is 2x minus 2y plus 12 is equals to 0 that should be the first step now we have to first of all we should find the value for x bar because y bar is already given to us how we should find the value for x bar any regression line like this it should be pass it should pass through this the pair of mean so here if we put the value of this here in the regression line so it will become x bar minus 2y bar plus 12 is equals to 0 so from here you can easily find that the value for x bar is so it will be 
4 so value for x bar is given now known to us and it is 4 first step was this another step was we have to find the value for coefficient of dxy because here the line is on x on y if we rearrange like we have done in the previous question we can easily find the value for regression coefficient of x on y so here line is given to us is this if we arrange it it will become x is equals to 2y minus 12 so here the regression coefficient for b x regression coefficient for x on y will be 2 so now we have two values we have the value for x bar and another thing we have the value for regression coefficient third step what we have to do there will be to find the correct value find correct value for x bar y bar and bxy we should represent it with a suffix c so here it will be the corrected value will be how we find it if we multiply it with the previous wrong mean and we subtract the value that is actually 3 we have to add 8 and we have to subtract 3 from it and we, if we divide it with the number of observation can find the value for corrected mean so here the corrected value for x bar is this similarly we can find the corrected mean for y so it will be 10 is the number of observation old mean is 8 here we have to subtract 5 because um, we will add 3 and subtract 8 so outcome will be we will subtract 5 and we will divide it with 10 so here it will become 15 by 2 now what else we need we have to find the corrected value for bxy bxy the bxy is covariance of xy upon standard deviation for y we have the value for standard deviation of y so we can easily find this we have the value for bxy that uh, old value that is 2 so here what will be the value for covariance of x and y so we have this old value and now we have to find the value for corrected variables okay For calculating the value for the corrected value variables first of all let's see the value for covariance of x and y what is the formula to calculate it putting all the values uh, we have the value for covariance of x and y we have the value for n we have the value for x bar and we have the value for y bar we can easily find the value for summation x y will be 8 is equals to summation x y upon 10 minus 4 into 8 so if you solve this you will find the value for summation x y is 400 so we have the value for summation x y for corrected summation x y what we should do we have if we have the old value we subtract the old pair multiplication of the old pair and we add the new pair so ultimately it will remain same so the corrected xy will be same now we have the corrected value for xy we have the corrected value for x bar we have the corrected value for y bar so we can easily find the corrected value for covariance of x and y it will become 400 upon 10 minus x bar was corrected x bar was 9 by 2 and it was 15 by 2 so if you solve this you will find the value for it was 25 by 4 another thing that we have to find is the value for corrected 
regression coefficient now we have the value for corrected xy once we find the corrected value for a standard deviation we can easily find the regression coefficient so let's see how to find the corrected value for standard deviation of y summation y square upon n minus y bar square so here we have to find the value for old and corrected summation y square so we can use this formula that is find the old value for summation y square so it will be 8 plus 4 plus 80 square so it will become 680 so now we have the old value we can find the corrected value by corrected value will be by adding it by subtracting 80 square and adding 3 square so it will become 625 so putting this value here you can find the corrected value so 625 upon 10 minus what is the corrected value for y bar it is 15.2 square square once you solve this you will find the value for it is 15.2 now we have the corrected value for these two we can find the corrected value for b x y so it will be 25 by 4 upon 25 by 4 so it will be 1 25 by 4 so now we have all the corrected value we can easily see we can find out our equation so what should be our equation it will be x minus x bar corrected corrected coefficient corrected regression coefficient and corrected value so we can find we have the value for corrected mean for x that is 9 by 2 and we have the value for y minus 15 by 2 so once you solve once you rearrange this equation it will be x is equals to y minus 3 so this is the correct answer the question is lengthy but it will it is very important for four marks to prepare for these types of questions because these questions are very important for four marks we will discuss more past year based question in the coming series if you haven't subscribed the channel subscribe it and press the bell icon for further notification thank you all the best for your exam